Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Monday the 12th, 13th, 13th, had to think for a minute. And I only have a few days to do videos. So I am trying to get them in between Monday and Tuesdays, which is what I have off between Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, so I only have like one day to upload to get them scheduled, and that's Sunday. I try to do that on Sunday. So technically, I only have two days to film. I can do them in the afternoons if I need to or whatever, but I'm trying to dedicate certain days to certain things so I can try to get a schedule going and and not be so tired, but I am tired. I'm exhausted actually and it's only three days a week that I'm working but this last weekend we had Ariel's competition and it's a whole thing so anyways so we have as you know I did get both my jobs and I'm probably biting off more than I can chew but I've always done stuff like that so we'll just we'll just go with it and see how it works out if it gets so it's really, really too much, then, you know, I'll have to do something about that. But um, nip it down to, you know, two days a week or whatever. Because the one job, the, the post office job is Monday through Saturday, but it's only half days. It's like from 7 to noon, noon 30, which isn't bad. You know, once you get the hang of stuff, you know, once it gets going, it's not going to be a big deal at all. And then the other one, I have to change my hours because right now I'm doing mornings, 8.30 to 2, which is six hours, 8, 8, 30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, five and a half hours. So I'd like to keep my five and a half hours if I can. So I'll be working... Um, you know, the post office in the mornings until about noon 30 and go in about 1.30. So that would be 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 30. And that might be pushing it. So I don't know. Those are going to be long days. Those three days are like 10-hour days. So I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. I haven't decided yet. And Miss Daisy, you got to get down. There's no room. So... This is a box pack, I'm not a box packing. See, I'm not with it. Packing of Tanner. I have to leave, I think they said seven days. I'm like, oh my heck, first it was five days, now it's seven. What the heck? So, I go up for orientation one day, which is like no biggie, it's not a biggie. I'm going to try to see if Jeff will take me because it's on a Monday and he doesn't work Mondays. But it's right after he has surgery. So I don't know if he's going to be in the mood to drive me. Um, I'd like it if he did because I really don't want to drive up there by myself. But anyways, the next time I go is for the entire week, Monday through Friday. And then supposedly I come back for the weekend and go back up for two days, Monday, Tuesday. I don't know about that. But anyway, I know I'm going for five days. And guess what? He is coming with me. There's no way I'm not going without one of my dolls. And I'm like, you know what? I am taking him because he's my, he's one I take camping. I'm trying to think of it as like a camping trip because my anxiety is so bad <laughs> having to leave, you know, at least when we go camping, I'm with other people, you know, it's doable. But to go by myself for five days, during the day, I don't think will be a problem. It's going to be nighttime where I'm going to have a problem. So, and I got my pills, thank goodness, and I know I'll probably have to take them. The minimum of driving will be the best. So I'm hoping that the place that I stay at is like really close to where... I have to go. So anyways, this video is for um, packing Tanner. I'm doing it early. Today's only the 
Like I said, it's the 13th. I'm probably not going to leave until around the, the 3rd. But I want to have him all packed so I don't have to worry about it. That's done. And then all I have to do is worry about packing me. <laughs> so we're going to do that now. So I've got his. I thought about using a smaller bag. And I'm like, you know what? For everything that I'm bringing, I'm going to have to use his bag. I'm going to have to use his backpack. So I got his backpack here. And I'll have, you know, I got all these little nooks and crannies. I've got sanitizer in here already. I got a nail file in here because I do plan on putting on nails. Um, I got, you know, the wipes will go over here. My water or whatever, a bottle if I can't fit it over here. I have this padded space and then all the space in here. So let's begin. And I have Mr. Tanner here. Whoops, sorry. I have Mr. Tanner here. So what I'm going to do is kind of show you everything and then move it and then we'll stuff it. <laughs> so I have a little jacket for him. I mean, I don't have a winter jacket for him or a bundle thing. Actually, I do. It's that blue one. And I've packed all that stuff away. And I don't want to go find it. So I did find this little jacket. So we have a jacket that we're going to put him in for that day. I still have him dressed in his same outfit he's had on. So that's fine. He can wear that. The only thing I haven't grabbed yet is hats. And if I can get away with just one or two, I think I need a gray one. This doesn't need one. This does. Gray would work. Gray will work with that. And actually just a gray one for all his outfits. The less I have to bring, the better that I can reuse all the time. So I'll just bring two of his hats. So I have, I'll just bring two gray ones, a darker gray and a lighter gray. So we'll have that. He's got his lovey right here. We'll do his lovey. I have four pajamas. See, in the afternoons or nighttime, I don't know how long the classes are a day. Probably, I'm thinking probably between, they're probably like nine to three or something like that, or eight to eight to two. I don't know. Anyway, I know I'm going to have the afternoon, the nighttime afternoons and nighttime to do videos. So I brought four pajamas because I'm up there five days. So we'll do four pajama pajamas. And I'll show you what I got. I got this one. It says, love you to the moon and back. I got this one. So I'm probably going to roll these up. So we have a bunch of room because I got a lot of stuff here. And then I got his doggy nightgown. You, you should see what I'm packing for me. I've got a big suitcase that I got from the thrift store. I mean, it's big. It probably comes up to my hips. I'm 5'1", about 5'1". And it comes up to my hips and it's on rollers, has a handle, Bet lots of room on the inside. I need my tripod. I'm not bringing this big, huge tripod, but I'll bring my little stand one. So I'm sure there'll be like a little like dresser thing that I could put it on to do videos on the bed or whatever. So I've got a lot of stuff I need. Uh, my fan at night, because I know hotel rooms sometimes are hot. I am not all about hot right now. So I'll bring my little fan that I bring in the camper. I mean, I got a ton of stuff that I got to get together and I'm trying to do it way beforehand so I don't have to rush. That's why I'm doing him because I want to have that suitcase, my computer bag, and his suitcase. I only want to have three bags. That's it. So that's the goal. <laughs> I'm hoping to get the computer stuff, laptop, my iPad to do videos, my phone, my chargers, all that stuff. I'm hoping to get all, and it should all fit in there. It'd be no big deal. So this has little paw prints on it. And it's another nightgown. So we've got that one. Then I have, this is new. Isn't that cute? I'll probably bring this one camping with us too. So some of this stuff you might see as a repeat. So I'm just trying to show you what I've 
got for him, and then I will... Oh, I can kind of move it over now and put it in. I've got one pair of shoes. I got these, because these were in his drawer when I took down everything. I kept a pair of shoes out, because they kind of go with everything. And I have a box labeled boys' shoes, so if I need to get at it, I can. It's not a big deal, but I got one pair of shoes to go with all these outfits, which it should. So, let's kind of... I want to put the blankets on the bottom. So, I've got this blanket. It's got um, little, and it's got satin on the back. It's got a stain, uh, like an iron stain on it, but it's no big deal. So, I have a blanket. It's like, he needs a blanket. Because I'm going to set up, I'm not bringing his little bed, you know, the little camping bed that I bring. I'm not doing that. I'm going to have probably two beds in the room so one bed will be all his stuff so all right so now I'm also bringing like a towel and this is his doggy one that has puppy dogs on it I mean he can't actually have a bath but I haven't wiped him down in forever so he needs a good wipe down so while we're gone he will get a bath. You know, he'll get a bath. So I'm bringing his little towel with me. So we'll put that in here. Let me bring this up now. So his blanket and his towel are right here. I probably should put them like sideways. That's what I'm gonna do. And I have three bottles. Three, no, four. Four bottles, different ones for the different days, right? So, and I have little things for that, for two of them. So, I've got his square one that I love. That was my Kenton's when Kenton was little. And then I have this blue one, which I love, my kind of antique -y one. I got that one. I'm going to put that one in here. Actually, that one's plastic. These two are plastic, so I should probably just put them on the side here. I'm going to put those two together on the side, so they're on the side. And then I have my glass ones. I want to bring my glass one. I love these. And I got a new video coming. Not sure when, but I this is brand new. I've never even heard of it. I'm like, this is awesome. New bottle. You might, guys might know. But I am, here's my other antique one. These ones I love, these ones. So I'm gonna put those two next to each other so they don't, oh, that towel so it doesn't, and that blanket. So actually let's put it over here because those can tend to break. Okay, so bottles, there's two, three over here and one over here okay now his pajamas I will put on the bottom here we'll just stack them kind of like that it'll look pretty but hopefully if I have to get to anything I have to take everything out that's the only thing about this kind of backpack that kind of sucks is because it doesn't have a thing you can get at, like my other ones that I have, which is fine. I'm going to put his shoes on him, and we will put a hat on him. We'll put this hat on him, because this is what he'll wear. So, extra things like socks. Um, we can put right here I think not positive let's get this in here this is his diaper changing we're gonna put that right here and I can actually put the diapers in there too and you know changing stuff um, trash bags there's his diapers wipes are gonna go on the side so we'll put those there those are Wipes, okay. 
socks, mitts, um, washcloth, there's diapers. I'm only bringing four diapers because I, I know I'll change him when we do his bath and maybe one other time. Other than that, I probably will not change him. So all the extra stuff like his socks, mitts. I'm only bringing one pair of mitts too. They're gray. They'll go with any outfit. He's got one washcloth. We only need that. His hat. Now his diapers, like I said, we can put in here in the back. So that's his changing stuff. Okay, so we'll zip that up. We're not going to put anything else in there. Okay, and we got his blanket, bath towel, pajamas. Okay, bottles. Now we have some, his, um, let's see if I can find them all. There's another pair of mitts we'll put in here. So I brought two mitts. That's all right. So we have four pacifiers and four clips. Pacifiers and clips. I want to put those. Where do I want to put those? Probably in the... Will they fit in the front here? Because I'm not packing stuff for me, so I can make use of all of these little compartments. So we'll put his passies and clips in the little bag right here. This one, I've got my sanitizer and that, which I know I'll need. I'm not going to worry about a bottle over here. I may end up putting his first aid kit, sanitizer, my nail file, in case I forget it, which I won't because I'll have a whole little nail kit. Um, his Toys. Where's his? Where did I put his? I didn't put his toys in here yet. His toys. I've got two teethers and this. We can put that right in the front. His little toys. We'll button that up. This one. We will put his brush, and his hairspray. I'm probably going to fill that up. Let me fill this up a little bit so it's full. It already has the conditioner in it. Let's see. I don't know where all my tops are for my spray bottles. <laughs> I use them and then I don't know where they take off to. So, I need to get a, I don't want it to leak. Oh, and it's another one like this. Maybe I'll switch because this one may bit better. Let's see. Nope. This one. It fits on, but it doesn't stay on. What the heck? Where's all my tops to my bottles? Well, I have a conditioner. I'm going to, I may end up switching it with another one. But we'll see. So I'll put that in here. And that's hair stuff. So I want to put, that's hair stuff. Okay. Now down here, I got, I got this stuff. I got his bath stuff. I've got shampoo, lotion, oil, powder. Now, I'm going to tell you about the oil is, I'm going to put his, like, bath stuff in here. Lotion, and then I'll put powder. This is cleaning stuff. Let's put that in here. I can, I can, and then there's boogie wipes. Casey gets a runny nose, or I do. 
So that will go in there. And then I have his Vaseline, which is just for looks. I don't put it on him. Okay. Now, we can move this over a little bit. What do we got left? Just clothes, I think. All right. We can put that down. Oil. Now, my cologne, Walmart doesn't carry it anymore, which I'm sad about. I'm really sad about so I found that the oil, if you, oil and water don't mix, but guess what I did? I mixed it and then you just shake it really, really, really good, right? You only put a little bit of oil, cause this is kind of like watery and you only put a little, little bit in with some water and like this, I would spray on the cloth. Well, you really shouldn't. You spray it on his clothes, okay? Where this is oil, it's going to leave a mark if you spray it on a clothes. But I think with the water down, see, it doesn't even smell like it anymore. Um, I probably, let me see. Yeah, it smells more like water. I'll probably have to add another drop or two to it. But what I decided to do is mix this, right, and spray it. And kind of wipe it on your hands a little bit and then put it on his clothes. Because if it's already not oiled in your hands, it won't stain. But I would do it like on dark pants or something like that so it doesn't stain. Um, rub it in just like you would the cream. Rub it in your own hands first, and then you could put it on them. And I mean, if it's your doll, you can do what you want, but I am not sure if this will stain. Um, so I like Johnson & Johnson. I have the Baby Magic, but I don't like it. I love the smell of this. I don't know. It just brings back memories. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I use instead of this. I only ha see, I only have this much left. That's it. So it kind of sucks. I need to get more. So I kind of, and I didn't know they had different ones too. They've got like sunshine and there's like five or six different ones. So I just decided to use this. So I'm going to put that in here. That's in here. So what I'll do is, because I won't have the spray with me, I will just put some of this on my hands and do it really good so it's almost all the way in. And then I would just put it like on his diaper. I would put it in the diaper. That would be perfect. Do it in the diaper. You could do that. So I'm not going to bring this one, but that's okay. But I thought about that, you know, because I'm running out. I am going to put his shoes on him when I get him ready. His lovey's going to go on top. So I got his first aid over here, sanitizer, in case I forget mine, because I know I'm going to need it. I've got two pockets right here that don't have anything in it, this, and I don't have anything in this one. So there's two pockets, three pockets that I do not have anything in, and one um, over on the side. I could put more diapers over there if I want to, but I'm only going to bring that much. So it's getting pretty full. So clothes wise, I am not going to roll these. I'm just going to fold them. I found these little jeans in a thrift thing because I don't have many jeans for him for some reason. I don't know where they all went, but so I'll just kind of lay stuff where, you know, how it's going to be, right? So I got that outfit, and I've got um, the socks in here. I've got two or three, like two socks, I think, because two of the outfits have feeties, so I don't have to worry about it. But I've got two socks in here anyway. There's two socks. So I have a pair of um, gray socks, or I could put him in his doggy socks, which I think is what I was going to do with this one, is his doggy socks. So there's that outfit. Then I have this little outfit that was, I think it was in a 
secret sister thing or somebody sent me clothes or something. I don't remember. Sorry if I forgot and you watch. Um, there's little dinosaurs and it has a top to go with it. It says, you make my heart soar, dinosaur. So I've got that and I got these socks to go with that, the little sneakers. So there is three pairs of socks. Okay. So this outfit and that outfit needs socks. And this outfit needs socks. Remember my striped yellow? I'm bringing that. I want to put him in it. I'm so excited. So he needs socks for this too. And I think that's what I got these ones for. Because it matches the dark. It doesn't matter. He can wear the socks a couple of times. And then the top which has the arrows on it. I thought I had um, blue and yellow socks too, but I don't. And his little vest that has the dinosaur on the top. So this one doesn't need a hat, you know. So we'll just fold that up, fold that down. So there's his, there's three outfits, right? Yep, three. And I'm bringing, um, Four or five outfits, in case I want. He has another pair of socks. I didn't think I had that many socks, but okay. There's socks. There's this little one that has the, you know, all the stars, the constellation. So there's the top, and the bottoms are feeded, so he doesn't need socks with this outfit. So I'll put that on top, and I don't know which day I'll put him in what, but. I want to make sure I have enough, so if I decide I'm only going to do, like, two videos, I have a choice, you know. Or if I want to go ahead and do all four videos, I can. I have the clothes. So I got this little shirt. So cute. And his overalls. His blue jean overalls. So there's his outfit. So we've got one, two, three for five outfits for five days. Now I'm not gonna change them in one, so I'm gonna have an extra one. And if I don't use them, that's that's fine too, if I don't want to use them. So, and then his lovey will just go right on top. There, and is that it? That is everything. And I'm hoping I didn't forget nothing for him. I think I have everything, his bath stuff, hair stuff, his toys, a blanket, his towel, wipes, pow powder, all that, his bottles, got it all, changing stuff. I think I have everything. I am all set with all his stuff. So he is packed. We won't close up his doggy. So there we go. There is everything for Tanner for five days. And I'm gonna do this again for camping and you know you know the drill I do it way beforehand but he'll have his bed when we go camping he'll have his bed because we're going to camping twice one for four days and the other one is like for seven days so I'll pack the same way for each one of those and I'll have to that's why I use this bag for Tanner because when he goes with me we pack everything but it's not too bad you know if it was a real baby, I'd probably have double the outfits because they spit out and get dirty the whole bit. I probably it would probably have a couple of extra um, pajamas, socks, you know, the whole bit. And I would probably, even if it was a real baby, I'd probably try to keep one pair of shoes, maybe two. But when I take him, I have his sandals and I have his sneakers. I usually bring two different ones. So that's that. And I'm hoping this year for camping, um, because they only go out on the boat for so long, I'm thinking maybe when they're not going, they're going to go on a hike or something. I'll drive down and go get on the boat with him and take some video on the boat. That's what I'm hoping for this year. But anyway, so that is everything for Mr. Tan Man for his jaunt with me. It's going to be exciting, huh? We're going to, it's going to be good. You're going to make mama feel good, huh? I hope so. <laughs> so, you know, with the, 
with the pills and him. I think I've got it covered and through therapy and uh, some um, coping skills. Uh, we should be okay. I'm hoping we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. It's only for five days. I'm like, really? Okay. The long run, you got to look to the wrong, the goal, you know, to the goal. Five days out of, you know, the goal. <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing. So anyway, and Daisy is way happy that I'm down here. She's right here. Her domain is down here. Tigger's is upstairs, even though he comes down here. Daisy doesn't like, she go upstairs to eat and stuff, but she's, I think she was um, tortured or something because we got her, she was almost three months old or so. So I think something happened to her, but she's comfortable when I'm down here and stuff. Huh? Here you go, girl. And she'll let me pat her and everything else down here. But if we're upstairs, she's on guard. Huh. You're doing good, huh? It's okay, I'm just going to pat you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Long video for you. And yeah, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to need it. And I appreciate all you guys' thoughts and concerns and everything for me. I appreciate it so much. I am doing okay. Physically, I hurt. Um, and I've, I've, I've been told that with anxiety and depression, that's a side effect. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> I don't want to hurt. So it's just your body. It, it just, you hurt. So, you know, I'm Mentally, I'm very angry. It doesn't come off in the videos, but I'm very angry right now. And that's okay. You just got to make sure the anger goes in the direction you need to place it, you know. But I appreciate everybody's concern. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm trying to just to make things work and we'll see how it goes. You just, I just, I'm taking one day at a time. That is it. That's all I can do. Today, I did this video. I have two more that I need to do, but for today, right now, I'm doing this one. I'll probably do the other, the other ones today or tomorrow. I got tomorrow off too, so we will see. And I appreciate everybody's love and support. Thank you so much. I am okay. I'm not quitting. I'm still going to do videos, but it's probably only going to be with Tana and Zoe. So it is what it is. Um, if I do a video like getting ready for bed, I may, because the only thing I have access to is the bassinet. And right now I got babies in it. <laughs> you can see it behind me. I got babies in it. So I'd have to take the babies out and set it up and use it as a bed because I don't have the cribs up or nothing. Everything's taken down until I figure out what I'm going to do. So I will see y'all soon. Bye now.